Simpson. Now, the Cincinnati Reds really did all of their baseball fans, and for that matter, all of baseball, a big favor today by firing Dick Wagner, their president and general manager. The Reds, as you may remember, in the strike-shortened 81 season, had the best record in baseball, the worst record in 82. They are in last place in the NL West so far this year. If you recall, Dick Wagner was the guy who built up the big red machine in the 1970s and then dismantled it by letting guys like Morgan and Rose and Perez get away. The Chicago Cubs have been playing great baseball of late, so I'm really not surprised the San Francisco Giants beat them twice yesterday. The Giants do very, very well against good teams. The Giants do very, very bad against the bad teams. Let's go to the stick. Game one yesterday, Joel Youngblood got three hits and three RBIs. The Giants won the first game 10-8 after being down at 1.61. In game two, 1-1 one, one was the score when Johnny LaMaster singles home Dwayne Kuyper. And the Giants lead at this point 2-1. to one. Now Bill Buckner's home run tied it at 2. And then Dwayne Kuyper is going to come up, watch this, and he drops one behind third to score two. And the Giants and Atlee Hammerker won game two. Now, between games yesterday, the Giants retired number 27 and gave Hall of Famer to be Juan Marichelli his own day at the beach. I never thought I, that someday I was going to become a major league pitcher. So, uh, to me, major league and Hall of Fame, that's uh, one of the greatest things that happened to me. Marichelle was great and will be honored for his greatness when he hits the hall later in the summer. That man had seven different pitches and seven different deliveries in his major league debut in which I really was there. He threw a one-hitter against the Philadelphia Phillies. Clay Dalrymple, the Philadelphia catcher, uh, and Alan Frio from Philadelphia really knows about Clay, okay, because he was going, Clay Dalrymple, Clay Dalrymple, are you right? <laughs> he got the one hit against Marichal in his major league debut, and he got that one hit, too, in the eighth inning. Now, someday, as you probably would guess, my tombstone is going to say, I loved the San Francisco Giants and hated the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, if you really are a Dodger fan, you're going to say, hey, the Dodgers won yesterday and broke their five-game losing streak. If you are a Giants fan, you are going to say, the Dodgers have lost five out of six games, even though they beat Pittsburgh yesterday 10 to three. Let's go to Dodger Stadium, Los Angeles. Pedro Guerrero, what a hitter he is. Not much of a fielder, but what a hitter. Hits his 19th home run. Bill Madlock, who could hit in every ballpark in the National League, except Candlestick. That's why the Giants got rid of him homered when it was still close. Good to see great guy Dusty Baker starting to hit again. This two-base hit, ground rule double, drove in Bert Hooten. And Greg Brock, who was in a 5 for 43 slump, had three RBIs yesterday, two on this base hit, as the Dodgers beat the Pirates by the score of 10 to 3. The hit man...